Hello everybody, we are Chuck and Kristen, a young married couple who have been living and traveling in the United States. We have done this in our self-converted Mercedes Sprinter van. In June of this year, we set off on our biggest adventure yet. We said goodbye to the sandy beaches of Florida and made our way up north to the last frontier, the state of Alaska. We traveled through Chuck's home state, Louisiana, towards the state of Texas. We drove the vast and empty roads to reach the Carlsbad cabins in New Mexico, which felt like another world. Before entering one of the most beautiful states, Colorado. from the Rocky Mountains to the deserts and canyons of Utah. And exploring the slot canyons of Arizona, where we celebrated Chuck's birthday at the Grand Canyon. And also had a special family member, Dwayne, come fly out to visit him. We experienced the shows and nightlife of Las Vegas, where our bicycles were sadly stolen. Despite the stolen bikes, we continued on to California. We had officially made it to the West Coast where we traveled up the Pacific Coast Highway before heading inland towards the giant trees of Sequoia National Park. And hiking around the legendary valley walls of Yosemite. We hired a tandem bicycle to cycle over the Golden Gate Bridge before Chuck built us new bikes in Eureka, California. We slept among some of the world's tallest trees before entering the state of Oregon and its wild coastline. We visited the icon of Washington State, Mount Rainier, before surprising some of our best friends on their bike tour. Where we spent three days together in Seattle. This was before crossing the border into Vancouver, Canada. we met up with the youngest of the Stuart siblings, my youngest brother, Smiles, for a few days. We made our way through the beautiful British Columbia. Before driving the world famous Alaska Highway and reaching our goal of Alaska. The weather changed as we made our way up to the Arctic Circle. Before venturing into the wild and the breathtaking Denali National Park. to the Anchorage Bowl and explored the scenic highway to Seward. Where we toured the peninsula and Resurrection Bay. After two weeks in Alaska, we started our way back to the lower 48 not before experiencing the snow and cold in Canada. Traveled 
15,000 miles through 14 states, two countries, 13 national parks. Was it really worth it? Travel is a brutality. It forces you to trust strangers and to lose sight of all that familiar comfort of home and friends. You are constantly off balance. Nothing is yours except the essential things like air, sleep, dreams, and the sky. It is so worth it. But is this achievable? Yes. So we bought our 2010 Mercedes Sprinter van in 2017 as an empty shell. We had to clean it, insulate it, and start to build ourselves. Slowly but surely, our tiny home started to take shape. But what did this cost us? The wood, nails, screws, hinges, insulation, and whatnot cost 754 US dollars. A lot of the wood was recycled and we were able to get this through friends and family. Our kitchen came to a total of $672. The electrical components, including our generator and lights and fan came to $609. The living room and bedroom came to $302. Our toilet and other miscellaneous items came up to $548. US dollars. So we completed our off-grid tiny home on wheels for $2,885.84, roughly $3,000. What about expenses? How much does it cost to live and travel in a van? So you need money for a few things. Food, fuel, gym slash showers, insurance for your vehicle, cell phone, and that sums it up. So most of our budget was consistent. We had our gym for $25 a month, our vehicle insurance for $136 a month, and our cell phones for $60 a month. So every month we knew we had expenses that would come up to about 221 US dollars. Food and fuel would vary significantly. Generally groceries totaled $430 a month and fuel was sitting at around $300 a month. However, on the Alaska Highway alone, we spent $402 on fuel in just five days. So it really depends on your location and the distance that you are traveling. So generally, an average month whilst traveling was $2,000 US dollars total. When we were living and stationary in our van, our total expenses were $800 a month. Now, don't forget money that you need to have saved for a rainy day and the maintenance repairs along the way. From oil changes to alternator upgrades, a savings account is a huge help. All in all, this is a very achievable goal and lifestyle. If you are prepared to break the mold of the American dream and redefine it for yourself, then van life can create wonderful opportunities. We would do it all over again.